YouTube, Open and Native Reviewer here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 4.3.3 with Snowbreeze 2.7. Now this supports every device that is on iOS 4.3.3 except the iPad 2. I'll put everything down in the description below so you can check it out. You guys already know what you need. If you don't, I'll show you. You need Snowbreeze. 2.7 you can I'll put the, this the link down below for that you need to go to this website and download your custom IPSW firmware I already did that make sure you put it on your desktop or someplace where you can find it easy so let's go you're gonna right click snow breeze click properties compatibility click run this program in compatibility mode and click Windows XP service pack 2 click apply now run that as administrator click apply and click OK now you're gonna click Snow Breeze, open it up, get this off the screen, okay. Click next and browse for your custom firmware. I put mine on my desktop so I can find it. This is it right here. See it recognized, so you're gonna click next, click expert mode. If you're on an iPhone, don't worry, all of these modes preserve your baseband for unlock. So you're going to click general, next. Just leave all, you can leave all these. Check if you need to activate your iPhone, you can click activate. If you don't, just leave it. I like to click open, install SSH. That's just me. You don't have to add none of those. And just go and build IPSW firmware. Now, Snowbreeze has to build a firmware, so I'll be back when Snowbreeze is finished building the firmware. So now we're back and you got to get ready to put your iPhone, I mean your iPhone or iPod touch whatever device you're using into a Pwn DFU state. So you're going to, before you click start, you're going to hold the sleep button for 3 seconds, then hold both, hold both the sleep button and the home button for 10 seconds, then release the sleep button and keep on holding the home button until until it, rec it is recognized by Snowbreeze. So let's go. So we're gonna click start. We're gonna hold this one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then you release, and then you keep on holding the home button until Snowbreeze recognizes it. So Snowbreeze recognized mine, so I just released it. We'll click OK. So now you're gonna exit out. Of Snowbreeze and open iTunes. And it's going to tell you, you it recognizes your device. You click Shift Restore and you scroll for the Snowbreeze that was just created for your, your device. It should be on your desktop. This is my Snowbreeze iPod Touch 4, 4.3.3. You click OK and you click Restore. Now you let the process go through and I'll be back when this is done. Now once all that is finished, you should go in and you'll see CDA, just click it and continue with your regular process from there and that's it. You're now jailbroken. May the jailbreak force be with you. Uh, if you encounter a iTunes error 3194, all you have to do is go into CSC Drive, Windows, System32, Driver, ETC, open the host file, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and delete any line that says gps.apple.com, and save it, and close it out. If you encounter another error uh, iTunes I think it's 1600 error all you have to do is use iRab and put your device back in a Pwn DFU mode because it, it will come out of a Pwn DFU mode with the first error and that's it I'll put everything down in the description down below you guys just check it out rate comment subscribe peace